video I will be doing a review on this ultra key titanium technology flat iron that I purchased from Ulta.com which it can only be purchased from Ulta and um, let's see some of the things that it claims it can do bouncy curls classic waves and silky straight you can see that It also has a lock feature, temperature control, and floating plates. Let's open up the box. I will also have um, pictures inserted within the video of this product um, and of course video of me flat ironing my hair. So this is the flat iron and it has a pretty decent cord. It comes with um, a heat protecting glove or whatever you call this thing. Um, because this part of the flat iron does get hot when you're using it and after you use it it does have an LED display you can check the description box for more information about this flat iron um, all of the features that it has I did buy this flat iron with my own money it was not this is not a sponsored um, review so um, let's see what I like about the flat iron is the color which actually is a love and hate relationship with the color I like the color because it's white you know white looks clean which is also the reason why I hate it because after I flat iron my hair you can see like it was really dirty maybe from where I some of the paint um, came from the brush when I was blow drying my hair that ended up getting on the flat iron and I could not really get it out so I'm just thinking that within time I don't think it would be easy to clean because I could barely clean it then so over time it would probably be hard to keep this flat iron clean it also has a digital display, which I love the digital display. Um, it was pretty easy to handle. It has a switch dial that you can turn when you want to change the temperature. There's no in-between, so it's only the set temperatures that it has on the dial. So it's, it doesn't go by single digits. I can't say that this flat iron was a one pass type of thing. If um, While you're looking at me, flat iron my hair with this flat iron you can tell that I do go over most of my hair with more than one pass and this is the result of me flat ironing my hair as you can see it's still kind of puffy it's not as straight as I would have liked it to be um, maybe I could have turned the heat up on the um while I was flat ironing my hair but I don't like to use too much heat on my hair so I can't say that I agree that it's a one pass type of thing. I also don't think that it left my hair as shiny as it could have been. As far as snagging I think it did a pretty good job. Um, I maybe recall one or two strands being snagged but overall the snagging wasn't bad so that is a plus for this flat iron okay now back to the design um after i flat ironed my hair as i said before i did try to clean the flat iron with just a dry towel um and the paint came off of it at first i thought it was just dirt you know still on it but once i looked closer i could tell that the paint was already coming off of it and that was just from me wiping it with a dry cloth um no chemicals on it just a plain dry clean cloth and i didn't understand that and i didn't think um it should have been peeling so early and so soon just from one use especially when this flat iron is well over well not well over $100 but it is over $100 when I mean, you have cheaper flat irons that do not peel and they maintain their integrity so um I really didn't like that and that was the real deal breaker for me because if I'm going to spend $100 on a flat iron I expect it to last and I expect it to still look good um 
later on when I'm still trying to use the flat iron. So needless to say, my final thoughts is I did not like this flat iron. Um, maybe I'm just not a chi person because I have used the chi flat iron before in the past and I did not like the way that my hair felt when I flat ironed it. I've used cheaper flat irons that I bought from CVS or Walgreens or Walmart and they left my hair shiny, they left my hair flowy, and they just did a better job than this flat iron so I can't see myself spending so much money on it. However, there are a lot of people who love Chi flat irons, and if you do love Chi flat irons, then this may be the product for you. But as for me, I think I'm gonna pass and continue my search for a flat iron that will actually leave my hair shiny and would be, um, you know, be worth $100. Um, so I will keep you all posted when I do find that flat iron. And I hope you like this video. If you have any questions regarding this flat iron, please leave them below. And I will answer them to the best of my ability. And I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more reviews. See you later.